Hi, so third time's the charm. Um, so I'm here to talk about a brief history of beer. This is one of those subjects that I would like to actually edit the video and have some images, but uh, I think the point of these blogs is just fast and effective. So beer is a malt beverage made basically with grains. It was a happy accident discovered in Egypt and Mesopotamia. There are many theories. My, the one that I feel that it's the, the most convincing is that people used to keep some, some beverages, for example, um, a mead or, or other uh, alcoholic beverage, and they put it in jars and they accidentally fermented because they didn't understand or they didn't know that uh, there were microbes or, and bacteria and yeast in the air. So it was a happy accident. And it became, since the beginning, like uh, the, the beer of the elite and the beer of the gods because they believed that it was a gift of God. At this point, there was a goddess of beer that is called Ninkasi. And basically, it spread it out up until Europe. And it was, uh, at this point, it was, uh, it was not always the tasty beverage we know. So they used to mix it with other spices and herbs to actually make it, make it a little bit more drinkable, a little bit more, um, more tasty. But it was until Germany, until it went to Germany, when it, they, it became the beer that monks used to make as, as the part of God thing, but we switched from a maternal society to a paternal society, so suddenly it was not a goddess or the women's uh, job to make beer, but it, it became a men's job. I don't like that idea, but it happened. And it still became, they didn't still don't know why, why it happened, but they discovered that they discovered hops because hops grew plenty in Germany and Europe. So they discovered that this particular spice made the beer last longer and made the beer, the beer tastier. It balanced the sweetness of the malt with a little bit of bitterness and it made it uh, the popular beverage we know today. So after, from Germany, it spread it out to Belgium, it spread out to UK, and uh, each, the, actually uh, the three main um, beer cultures are Germany, Belgium, and German Vienna, the, because, well, Gen, uh, German Czech Republic, that was where Lager was born. But, so from that point, beer became this beer of, uh, it was hard to make, so it was not for everyone at this point, but as time went, on, uh, we became better at the processes and it slowly became a cheap beverage for the working class. And at this point was when we discovered lagering and basically we forgot all this history of beer and it became this uh, yellow, fizzy, um, multi beverage that we, know, that we know today. And that's what craft beer is all about. It's not about inventing something new. It's basically returning beer to the basic and, and return beer to the to the good old days when it was actually each brewer made the beer differently because each brewer had access to different ingredients. Each brewer, it's like cooking. It has its own like hand and way of making it. So that's what craft beer is all about. It's returning to all this history of beer and actually finding out what ingredient, what styles were, were drink at that time. What did they taste like? And because in the end, I, I'm going to say a little uh, comment that is, might be a little bit controversial for someone, but beer is way more complex than wine. Wine has some, well, has, uh, it has grapes, has yeast, has water, and it's barrel aged. Beer has malt, yeast, hops, uh, water, has, can be aged in barrels, can, add, can be added fruit, honey, sugars, um, chocolate, toffee, whatever you want. And each ingredient has its own process and in, in its own species that adds something different to beer. So that's in a very brief history of beer. I hope that uh, you learned something. And next time I'm going to talk about the process of beer per se. So see you then.